Hi all, it's David here from DP Computing. I'm just going to do a quick teardown of a Toshiba Tecra Z40. Uh, this one's a Z40-B-11X. Now this is the underside of the unit and there are some hidden screws which I'll get to in a moment. But what I'm using is just a normal Phillips head uh, size zero. So I'll just start to take some of the screws out. Now I have loosened some of the screws so you may see me taking them out fairly quick. Now before you proceed please take anti-static precautions and um, proceed at your own risk as well. Now what I've done is taken out so far six screws. Um, I'll just show you them shortly. But these six screws are sh slightly shorter than the rest of the screws I'm going to take out. So I just put them to one side. So that was the one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's some more screws here which I'll take out. And these are slightly longer. So don't just mix them up and remember where the longer ones go when you put the cover back on. So that's another three screws I've taken out and I'll just put them to the other side and you'll see these are the first of the six screws which are slightly shorter than the others so there you go. Now you may have thought um, this is all the screws that are in this unit but no there's actually one hidden under the grommet here and two under the uh, grommets there. So just get a small flathead screwdriver or a little knife and just prise them off. So that. There we go. And this one. And there is some of these rubber feet or grommets at the other end of the unit at the top here but they don't have any screws underneath. Um, so these screws are the longer type as well. So just so you know, there should be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of the shorter screws and one, two, three, four, five, six of the longer screws. Now once all the screws are out, the actual cover itself lifts off quite easily. And that's just the underside of the cover. And over here you'll just see some foam which holds in the actual hard drive. But if the cover doesn't come off nicely, just check that you removed all those 12 screws. Now, as you can see here, we've got the innards, we've got the battery, hard drive, this one's an SSD, we've got RAM in there, um, CPU will be there, the fan, um, heat sink and grill there, uh, the docking port, uh, the Wi-Fi card. So, first thing before you do anything is just to disconnect the power, which is just a little connection here, so just pull that out, and as you see, it's now disconnected from the power. We've got memory here, they're just holding, held in by two little silver clips. Just unclip them, the memory will pop up, and then you can just pull it out. So it depends on how much RAM your, your machine comes with. This one's got 8 gigs, so it's got two of the um, DIMMs in there. But just for a 4 gig, you may just have one. So if you want to upgrade it, you can just put the next, some more RAM in slot B there. Now this is, let me see if it says it anywhere, it's a 4 gig DDR3L. 1600 so dim 1.35 volt uh, I've got the hard drive here this one's an SSD but there's a little plastic tape just holding it on so just peel that off once you've done that the hard drive itself will lift out but we've still got the just the connection the SATA connection there so just be careful just pull that out and there you've got your hard drive. The hard drive itself isn't screwed in or anything. So if you just need to replace it, you can put another, a bigger SSD in or replace it with a platter or replace a platter with an SSD. So there you have it. There's a very quick teardown of the um, Toshiba Tecra Z40 Ultrabook. 
Thank you for watching and if you've got any questions please leave them below or um, uh, please visit our YouTube channel. Thanks again. Bye for now.